What's going on guys, Nathan here, and today I'm gonna to give you my top five highly profitable poker hands that you should be playing more often. It might be costing you money by folding these hands too much. Let's jump right into this. All right guys, so in my 10 plus years of professional in this game and having coached hundreds of students in the small and mid stakes, I've found that there's a handful of hands, five in particular, that people tend to fold too often. And the reason this is a mistake is because all of the hands on this list have incredible implied odds. We're gonna talk about that in a second, which basically means it gives you a chance to win a very, very big pot. And as a bonus in this video, I'm also gonna give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to play each of these hands. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Here are the top five highly profitable hands you should probably be playing more often. Counting down from five to one, here we go. Number five is gonna be Jack-10 suited. Now guys, many amateurs highly underestimate the strength of a hand like Jack of Hearts, 10 of Hearts. And when I use specific suits throughout this video, they can be interchangeable. If this was Jack of Clubs, 10 of Clubs, it means the same thing. Jack 10 suited. So why is this hand so good? Well, number one, it can make many different straights, a decent top pair and a decent flush as well. Basically, you have multiple, multiple paths to victory with this hand, and that is always a very good thing in a game like No Limit Hold'em. The other thing about Jack 10 suited is that this hand is also excellent for bluffing. This is something that I talk about in all of my poker books. In particular is finding specific situations to make profitable semi-bluff raises on a flop, for example, of eight of clubs, seven of hearts, and four of spades. In this situation, if you have the jack 10 of hearts, you have a gut shot to the nut straight draw. I've talked about that in many of these videos before. You always wanna be drawing at the nuts, and that would be the nine, of course, in this example, if that falls on the turn or river, and you also have a backdoor flush draw in your pocket here. If it came heart, heart on the turn and river, you would also have a nearly unbeatable hand. And as the final bonus, you also have two live overcards. If you're up against somebody who has a hand like nine, eight, for example, in this situation here, if it came with a jack or a 10 on the turn or river, you would also make the best hand. So guys, for all of these reasons, this is a hand that you should literally always be playing in most situations. So how do we play it? Always raise first into the pot pre-flop, and that's gonna be a theme with all of the hands on this list. And this is a theme in my entire philosophy of how I approach this game. Any of you guys who have read my free poker cheat sheet already know that. That's the top link in the description below. If you wanna know my complete strategy with all 169 hands in No Limit Hold'em, but building on that, always raise first into the pot. You also want to consider light three betting this hand versus weak players before the flop. Now I don't have time to go into depth about that in this video. I've made many videos on the channel here talking about that already. But basically this is the idea of if a weak player raises, especially in the late position seats, I'll actually put the image on your screen right now so you understand what I'm talking about. I'm talking about specifically the cutoff and the button. If one of these weaker players who raises and can be convinced to lay it down, raises from one of these seats, often I'm gonna be taking a hand just like Jack 10 suited and re-raising them in this situation, looking to one, take it down pre-flop, or two, win it on the flop with a simple continuation bet. Let's move on to hand number four that is highly profitable. You might want to start playing a little bit more often, and that is ace seven suited. Now guys, suited aces are an essential weapon in your no limit hold'em arsenal for the simple reason that these hands have huge implied odds. Now what do I mean by implied odds? Well, a hand like Ace-7 of Diamonds can win a massive pot because it can make the nut flush. And when you're talking about a game like No Limit Hold'em, where you can bet any amount in your stack at any time possible, this gives you an incredible chance to win a massive pot versus somebody who is on tilt or perhaps just doesn't play that well and they can't fold a hand like Pocket Kings. And we'll talk about that a bit more in a sec. But guys, basically implied odds are the amount of money that you stand to gain if you can make the best hands in No Limit Hold'em. I've also made videos here on the channel talking about that so you can check those out some more. The other thing about a hand like Ace 7 is that it has excellent equity as I just mentioned versus a lot of big pocket pairs like pocket kings, pocket queens, and pocket jacks. Specifically it has about 30% equity. Now a lot of people get their pocket kings or their pocket queens so-called cracked versus a hand like this 
and they don't realize that this hand literally is gonna win almost one in three times versus you, and that is a massive amount. And once again, in these videos, I'm mostly talking to small and mid-stakes poker players. This is 99% of the people who watch my videos play at these stakes. And what do we know about the players at these stakes? They have a hard time laying down a hand like pocket kings, a hand like pocket queens. So they're often gonna be unconvinced when that ace comes on the turn of the river or if you hit the flush. So guys, for all of these reasons, suited aces like this are excellent hands that you wanna be playing as often as possible. Once again, you always wanna be raising first into the pot preflop with this hand, like with every hand on this list. And also this is another category of hands that I love to three bet light versus the weaker players, especially in those late position battles. By the way, if you want to know more about this in depth, I just released my brand new Elite Poker Training University. There are 17 plus hours of advanced video training. I have dozens of videos talking about specific spots like this, about how to take a hand like Ace-7 suited and re-raise it pre-flop against the weaker player types, especially showing you how to quickly identify these players at the poker table and when to re-raise them. So enrollment is open now. I'll include a link for that in the description below, but let's move on to hand number three that is highly profitable and you should consider playing more often, and that is small pocket pairs like pocket fours. This is another hand, guys, that is often overlooked by a lot of amateur recreational poker players, but this is another hand that has absolutely excellent implied odds in a game like No Limit Hold'em where you can bet any amount at any time. So, for example, if the flop comes down with the king of spades, four of hearts, and ten of diamonds, and you have the old pocket fours, and your opponent has a hand like ace-king in this situation, guys, this is Kaching. This is how you make the money in poker. You are very likely to win a large pot in this situation, perhaps getting all of their chips. This is how I was able to create literally some of the highest winnings of all time, especially in the lower stakes cash games online, is by hitting sets with a small pocket pair, so what we call a set, versus players who have a hard time laying down a hand like top pair. If they've got ace king or king queen or even king jack on this board, Board. A lot of players in small stakes games, they're not laying that down for any amount of money. And as I talk about in my first book, Crushing the Micro Stakes, you can often fast play your set in this situation and just end up stacking them again and again in spots like this. So guys, how do you play this hand? Once again, always raise first in the pot, no matter what, and flat call with a hand like pocket fours, especially when you are in position. And when I say in position, guys, I'm talking about a situation where you are gonna be acting last on the flop turn and river. So we already talked about the positions at the poker table earlier on in the video. I'm specifically referring to the cutoff and the button. And the reason why you wanna be flat calling instead of re-raising in this situation is because you want to try to set mine. You're not gonna hit your set that often. It's only gonna come through around 12% of the time, but you want to see cheap flops with these small pocket pairs because like we just talked about, they have incredible implied odds. Let's move on to hand number two. You should be playing a lot more often at the table because it can win you a big pot. And that is a hand like seven and nine suited, one of my all time favorites. In fact, I even named myself after this hand, Black Rain 79. Guys, it doesn't matter if it's spades, although I prefer spades, or diamonds, clubs, hearts. A hand like this, a suited one gapper, is an incredibly powerful hand to have once again in a game like No Limit Hold'em where you can bet any amount at any time. Let's talk about why. The reason why suited one gappers play so well is because they can make many hidden straights and trips. So for example, if the flop came down with a 10, 8, 6, or a 7, 7 queen, they're going to be very unlikely to put you on such a strong hand. You got the nut straight in the first one, and you've got trips with an okay kicker in the second situation. Once again, guys, when we're talking about small and mid stakes, where a lot of people have a big problem laying down a hand like top pair or an over pair, these situations are literally money. Now, of course, you're not going to flop this well that often, but but when you do, if the stacks are deep, you can often win a massive pot. So once again, always raise first in pre-flop with this hand, although I would consider folding this in early position. By the way, if you wanna know all the charts on which hands I suggest playing from every position at the poker table, you can just download a copy of my free poker cheat sheet. That'll be the top link in the description below. There's charts in there with my recommendations on what hands to play in all situations, but I'm playing this hand most of the time, and I'm also flat calling in position just like pocket four especially in order to outplay
display the weaker regs. Now, once again, I don't have time to go into this in such a short video. I have made other videos about this on the channel here before, but basically I'm looking for players who are looking for a reason to lay it down post flop because I'm going to be making a lot of plays against these players as well. We already talked about that with Jack 10 suited off the start. Basically any situation where I have some sort of decent equity or draw, I'm often gonna be semi bluff raising with a hand like this, especially in position in order to try to earn some pots and get some weaker players to lay down better hands. But without any further ado, let's jump into my number one most profitable poker hand that you should be playing a lot more often, and that is pocket tens. Guys, many amateurs play a hand like pocket tens as if it is a mediocre hand. This absolutely blows my mind. Guys, what you need to understand is that yes, an over card is gonna come on the flop when you have pocket tens a whopping 70% of the time. However, the mistake that a lot of amateurs and recreational players make is just assuming that they're beat because there's an ace, a king, a queen, or a jack on the board. That's what I mean when I say an overcard. However, guys, you need to realize that pocket tens is the sixth best hand, yes, number six, in the entire game. Just because the flop came queen, eight, deuce, there is still a very, very good chance that you are ahead in this situation because they've got ace, king, they've got king, jack, they've got pocket fours, they've got something that you're still ahead of. Guys, pocket tens is a very, very strong hand. And the beautiful thing about a hand like pocket tens is that unlike pocket fours, you don't need to hit a set in order to win big pots. Often a hand like this is strong enough on its own. And this hand also makes an excellent bluff catcher. If you're up against one of those highly aggressive players, I made a video on this just last week, who is always trying to bluff you out of the pot and you have difficulty putting them on a hand, a hand like pocket tens is an excellent hand to just call them down. And often they're gonna turn over some nonsense and your pocket tens are gonna be the best hand. So guys, always raise this hand pre-flop, of course, and often three bet depending on the positions. Now, this is an entirely other video. I don't have time in this situation, but basically in a super quick nutshell, if somebody raises an early position, especially one of those tighter regulars, I'm often just gonna be flat calling with pocket tens because they have such a tight range. But if the action in the hand is in the later position seats, the cut off the button or the blinds, I will often be three betting, aka re-raising with pocket tens pre-flop. Again, if you wanna know this in much more detail, I have tons of premium advanced poker books and video training that I'll link up in the description below. But basically guys, you want to be playing this hand confidently, both pre-flop and post-flop. Pocket tens is an excellent hand, guys. Don't sleep on this hand because it can often win you a big pot. All right, guys, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And make sure you let me know in the comments below what are your five favorite hands or most profitable hands at the poker table. And once again, if you wanna know my entire strategy to smash the small and mid stakes, make sure you grab a copy of my free poker cheat sheet. That'll be the top link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will catch you next time. This has been Nathan Williams with BlackRain79.com.